Numerical Computation, Chapter 6, Additional Video, Number 2. This video can be viewed after you have seen the additional video, Number 1. In this video, we go through a special type of LU factorization called Cholesky factorization. We consider a square matrix A, which is symmetric and positive definite. Positive definite means all the eigenvalues are strictly positive. Then one can rewrite the A matrix as the product of two matrices, R transpose times R. Here. The R matrix is a square matrix, which is upper triangular, and the diagonal elements are all positive. So this is called the Cholesky factorization. One can view this as a special form of LU factorization, since here R is upper triangular, then R transpose would be lower triangular. And then since R is symmetric, then we would have U equals R and L equals R transpose. In this case, there are some computational advantages. First, only half of A needs to be stored since A is symmetric. And then R also takes only half of a storage space of a matrix. The factorization requires about an order of n cube over 3 flops, which is half of the amount needed for the LU factorization. So we present here a brief algorithm. This is in fact a Gaussian elimination procedure. You can see it's very similar. So you take the square root of a11, put it in r1, and then you go through from 2 to n, and then you go through i from 1 to this j minus 1. So this will cover a triangular shape in the matrix. And then the element rij is computed as then the aij minus summing over r k i and r k j for k going through 1 to i minus 1 and this quantity here is then divided by the diagonal element r so once all these elements are computed from i from 1 to j minus 1 and then the diagonal one r j j is computed with this expression so this is only valid if the A matrix is symmetric and positive definite. Now the Cholesky factorization is also implemented in MATLAB in the function CHOL, which takes the A matrix as the input. So I encourage you to do a help CHOL in MATLAB to see the detail syntax and usage of that function. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.